Well, I've been working with Yellow Eye Penguins and we've been uh, addressing some questions about um, how well in, in different individuals perform using a really long database that we've got. And uh, what we've shown is that um, all penguins aren't created equal. Some penguins are what we call super breeders. They just perform much better than all the other ones. We don't know why they're super breeders or what kind of confers their superpowers on them, but they live for much longer. So an ordinary penguin would live for maybe eight or nine years, but super breeders might live for over 20 years. And ordinary breeders, you know, they, um, They'll be producing chicks all the time, but often they, they never have any grand chicks at the ends of their lives. I mean, we sort of expect as humans to always have grand chicks, but um, a lot of penguins never have grand chicks. We think it's important to know who the super breeders are for a, at least a couple of reasons. And one is that if you lose a super breeder out of the population to maybe um, the fishing bycatch, being entangled in fishing nets, then that's actually a tragedy for that population because it's a bird which is responsible for a lot of productivity. You could have a very small group of penguins left and if they're all composed of these birds who produce chicks that never survived or that become adults and never produce good quality chicks, then you, you, know, you might have a population that's, that's almost functionally extinct. But we don't know, uh, in fact, whether birds can become super breeders or, or whether it is you know, genetically determined. So there's, so there's a lot to find out still, but uh, we are concerned for those reasons.